Hey folks, this is Vince and Natalie with Dan's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try TikTok A Tale for Two. This is a cooperative game. Uh, we've never played it before, so we're just going to jump right into it. There is a settings menu in the upper left-hand corner. There's how to play and volume control. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down slightly. Okay, yeah, it looks like there is some music there. All right, let's check... YouTube and Twitch, make sure everything's okay. It looks like it is. All right, and you're there? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, how do we invite each other? Do we have to form a party or something? I have no idea. All right, well, I'll hit start. Let's see if it, we can figure it out. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, it says that no internet connection is required to play. I wonder if, like... You play as player two, I play as player one, and we just go through the game. Like, maybe we never see each other in game. You know what I mean? Really? I, that's what I'm thinking. It says here, the game itself does not require an internet connection to play. Okay. So, if we toggle past the tutorial here. Alright, so who are you going to be, player one or player two? Player two. Alright, I'll be player one. Okay. Make sure your team member is player two. Yes. Yep. All right, start playing. Start playing? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's so odd. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do you still have your speakers on? Yeah, why? I see. I'll just speak quieter. <gasps> oh, sorry. No, it's probably my volume sensitivity. Sorry. Today, you and your friend received two strange packages, each contained an old clock. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, it says Saturday, 12-7-2019 on my screen. Uh, yep, same. This clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. I'm my letter says, Dear Player 2, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Okay. <laughs> I have a news clipping. That's Tuesday, March 14th, 1937, but it's half cut off. So, I'm just, I'm trying to touch things on my screen. Oh. Um, oh, I can scroll down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's some kind of news clipping. Another disappearance, S-T-R-I. The youngest member, well, the youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lerk, was reported <laughs> missing yesterday. Her sister, um, Emily. How do you pronounce that? Emily. 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 Told us, <laughs> I guess, she told us she had last seen her at 1030. And hey. I've got a watch here. Are you supposed to see anything? Like, Mine is broken. Oh, uh, can you open it? I have a, uh, yeah, I have a pocket watch. It's It says 7 o'clock, but it's broken too. Like it's cracked on the right. Uh, see, mine, oh, see, mine is not. Um, Mine says 615 okay. and I can actually turn the big hand and adjust the clock. You said yours says 7? Yeah, I can adjust the big hand as well. Okay. Um what is if you close it does your lock it say Emily Emily whatever 1915? It's it, no, it says Lark Lark 1917 to 1937. All right, so And then I see. My half of the new uh paper clipping says Kes our village Tuesday March 14th 1937 mm. Well it seems like we have to adjust the clocks appropriately um I guess I'm guessing to, to what though <laughs> All right Um what so did you say my newspaper no, your clock, like, what was it the first time you opened it? 6.15. What if I adjusted mine to 6.15? Sure. Uh. But my newspaper clipping said her sister 
Emily told us she had last seen her at 10.30, so I'm wondering if we supposed uh, to... Did you have a, do you have a time on your newspaper clipping? It says, understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Contact if you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. An hour and a half later is 12 o'clock. Okay. So, do you want to try winding our clocks to 12? Sure. All right, mine's on 12, whether or not... Oh, uh, I, I clicked the... Uh, something happened. I'm being sucked into the uh, into the pocket watch. Really? Yeah, so I guess wind it to 12, and then tap the... Or click on the little spinny thing above the pocket watch. Oh, I see. Did it work for you? Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm being sucked in too. All right. <laughs> Chapter 1. This is a copy I made of the world that Lork and I used to know. <laughs> Mine says Lark went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. 2000. Two so here yeah. we go. We're, I'm transporting back in time. <laughs> Me too. H.G. Wells styles. 1927. Yep, same. Okay. 12 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, so I am now in front of a bus stop like a train station of some sort i guess but it's like a little bus stop area uh, okay and there's a i can machine. scroll to the left oh i can too okay oh okay there's raven's clocks yeah that's what i got too uh to the left further there's a path well. a path of some sort leading to a well yep same and then a house Yep, same. Okay. So, if we go to the uh, the bus stop again. Okay. And let's, can we click on that machine? Do you have a machine there? I can click on it, yes. Okay, there's a little train in the bottom left-hand corner? Yep. Okay. So, I've got arrows on mine. There's a left arrow on the far left. Mm-hmm. The second one is empty. It's missing. Yeah, same. There's a reset button in the middle. Yep. Then an up and then a down. Yep. Okay. Same. So it looks like we have the same... Okay, so I'm thinking in order to get past this part, we have to get the right directions inputted. Okay. So I guess let's go back out of here. There's a little arrow on the bottom left you can click on. I went up on the train and I can't go anywhere hit, else. Hit reset. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this... Uh, well, what I'm thinking is... Ten... Go ahead. Uh, sorry, I was saying I wonder if the 10, 10 o'clock, that clock, has any significance. Mine says 11 o'clock. Oh. Oh, yeah, mine says 11. I can't read no Roman numerals. <laughs> <laughs> X is 10, X1 is 11. Oh, so yeah, X is 10. I was right. <laughs> okay, so that that's significant. Okay, so yours is 10, mine's 11. Okay. All right. Um, sure. interesting to know. All right, let's go to Ooh. Raven's Clocks. I can click on the bushes in Raven's Clock area. Uh, all right, well, let me do that as well. Yeah, I can click on, Ooh. I can click on bushes, but nothing's happening. I'm gonna yeah, click and on the gears. Opening hours, three to nine. Raven's Clocks. I clicked on it and it says opening hours, three to nine. Maybe, uh, okay. Interesting. Um, all right, um, I'm going to scroll past Raven's Clocks and head to the well. Okay. I'm going to click on the well and see what's there. Okay, I'll do, I'll do that too. I am now on a ladder. Same. All right, so I can scroll up and down. I'm going down at the moment. Okay, same. At the very bottom of the well, there's some kind of machine. It looks like a slot machine of some sort. There's six white boxes and some shapes in the middle of each yep. one. Okay, yeah. uh, um, I can click on them to change the symbol. Okay, I, so I'm, I'm I thinking... Can only, can, I can only click on three of them. I'm, I'm, uh, let me guess. The top, middle, and the one on the bottom left, and the one on the bottom right? Yes. Uh, okay, I can click on the one on the upper left, the upper right, and the bottom middle. So we can click on different ones. So... Okay. I guess, what does your symbol say on the upper left? Uh, it's a triangle, a, sh a, f a shaded in black triangle. Shaded in, okay, got it. Now, my top middle one, 
is mm -hmm. an empty circle. Okay. So I just keep clicking yours until you get to an empty circle. Okay, I got it. Okay. Top right, um, what does yours say? It's another triangle, but it's not shaded in. It's a, it's just black outline, white space. Okay. Bottom left is an empty square. Empty square. Okay, I got it. Okay. Bottom middle, what is it? What does yours say? Empty square as well. Okay. And my bottom right is a filled in circle. Okay. Oop, dang it. Yep, got it. Alright, now let's pull the lever to the right. Okay. Ooh. It opened. Yep. Okay, I can slide ah. the panel to the left and I got a button. This is the button yep. for that machine. Yep, I got it too. Okay. So I guess there's nothing else down here. I'm gonna go back up the well. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Um, I'm over to the house now. Okay. Just to see what's here. I mean, the buttons are great and all, but we need directions on how to get, you know, uh, what, what are we supposed to... I, I, I see a train and a light bulb. Mm, I have a bird... I have a shadowy birdcage and a jack-in-the-box. Mm, let me scroll to the left. I can't. Okay, so there's nothing... Oh! Um... I'm doing the jack-in-the-box right now. <laughs> well, there's a message for me. Um... Interesting. What does it say? All right. Um, I, okay, I'm thinking this is how to turn... Okay, I have a message for you. I think it's for your jack-in-the-box. Okay. I hope... Lark, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. Clockwise I twice. Anti-clockwise twice. Then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. So I'm thinking Crap. that you have to... <laughs> okay, so... Can you reset your jack-in-the-box? Or whatever? Um... No, let me go out of the house and then go back in. <laughs> okay. All right. It's, just in the, it's in the same position, but whatever. That's fine. Okay. So turn it anti-clockwise three times. Okay. One, two, three. Now clockwise twice, and again, you cannot let go. One, two, now, okay. Now anti-clockwise twice. One... Two. Now keep turning it clockwise and do not let go. Okay. Anything happening? Um, turning. <laughs> do you know the direction for clockwise? Yes. Just making sure. I think so. <laughs> Like it's to the right, right? Yeah. Clockwise is right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not letting go. I'm, I'm just keep... I've been keeping on going. I must have done this like a hundred times. All right, well, let's stop that. Is okay. there, there's no way to reset that. No, it, but when I let go, there's like a little switch thing that looks like every time I turn it a full a full circle, it'll it'll pop up. So it tells you when you've completed a full revolution? Yeah, sort right. of. Well, yeah. have you been using that when you were turning this stuff? Yeah, I was. <laughs> but I, when I exited the house and I came back in, I didn't touch it. All right. So let's try it again. What was it? Turn it anti-clockwise three times. One, two, three. Clockwise twice. One, two. Anti-clockwise twice. One, two. Then keep turning it clockwise. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going as fast as I can. Nothing? Mm, I don't know what's supposed to happen. I'm assuming your jack-in-the-box is supposed to open, but... It's not opening. <laughs> Crud. Uh, can you tell me more about what you're... Okay, you've got a jack-in-the-box. Yeah, and there's like a little... There's a... There's like a little knob... Um... On the, on, on the edge of the little... Uh, handle. And so when it gets to a certain point, it hits... Um... It hits like a... Like a ledge. 
and that thing goes up, like it pops up, which means that you made like a full circle. Can you start when you when you when you first started the machine with turning it? Did you start on that that part? I just started on whatever it fo it automatically falls into one position. Oh, is it like it it falls into position on the top or to the right or like wh where does to it? To the right, it just falls into position. All right, so right. I'm 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 imagining a lever, mm -hmm. pointing to the right by default, mm -hmm. and when you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, something mm -hmm. will light up telling you that you've made a full revolution. Yeah, something like that. Like there's like right on top. Right on top of the lever um, is a is a little mechanic um, that'll move up when the edge of my lever hits it. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> like, okay, I have the handle, right? And if I turn it, like, at the end of the handle, at the end of the handle is a little notch. And it's like... Can you interact with any of these things? Mm, no. The only thing I can in interact with is the handle. Alright. Do... Are you letting go of the mouse at all? No. Okay. Um, turn... Try again. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. If there's three... Anti-clockwise is, is to the left, right? Up into, <laughs> uh, starting from the right, it's up and to the left. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I've been doing. One, two, three, right? And then clockwise twice. Yes, clockwise twice. One, two. Then anti clockwise twice. Oh, you know what? One, two, okay. And then what? Clo then keep turning it clockwise and do not let go. Hmm. I have to wonder. I have to wonder if I'm just not supposed to let go at all, like, during that whole thing, because I have I been said. letting go. What do you mean? You not, not, I have been letting go every time, like, you, there's a segment. Well, don't. You know, the only I, it says, oh, and do not let go. So, yeah, I, like I said, you have to keep holding, like, click and hold the entire time, if you can. Oh, okay, that's probably what I've been doing wrong, then. Okay. I thought it was only, like, once you get to that final lap, just no. keep turning it clockwise and the don't let go. The O and do not let go is a, a separate sentence, which indicates everything before it is applies okay. to that. So, turn it anti-clockwise three times, do not let go. Okay. Clockwise okay. twice, do not let go. Uh-huh. Anti-clockwise twice, do not let go. Okay. And now, now clockwise? Keep turning it clockwise. And do not let go. Yep, I got it. <laughs> All right. So what? What? What's in it? It's a ticket. A ticket. It looks like directions. Okay, so I'm wondering if we're supposed to use use. It's a that. half a ticket, though. Half a ticket. Mm -hmm. On the world. Okay. So maybe I'm supposed to get the other half somehow. I don't know. This one looks like it, it looks like a grid, like a um. Like a grid, and like then it has the train. A... The, 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 there was a grid on that computer at the yeah. bus stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's like a little dot on the bottom left, and it goes up two squares. It goes to the right, um, three more squares, and then to the bottom two squares, and then to the right, and then there it cuts off. All right, so we need we need to find the other ticket half. Yep. All right, so <laughs> I want to put this button back first off. Yeah, me too. But right, cool. now we need, I need the other half of that ticket. Some, somewhere there's a ticket for me. Now this Raven's clock, it says it's open three to nine. I wonder mm -hmm. if there's something I'm supposed to do with that. It's too bad we can't change these clocks. Yeah, really. Somehow, like, reverse time so that this door is open. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now mine says nine o'clock. How did yours say nine o'clock? Oh, you, oh. You, you must have access to the store now. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. I just clicked on it and I just went in. Okay. Um. Okay. Are you able to go in at all yet? I can't do anything. Mine still says ten o'clock. 
Mm. Whoa, it says, okay, I have this radio and I can slide it and there's letters. Missing, mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they are all found soon. Missing cats and dogs. Does that mean I have to search bushes for cats and dogs? I don't know, but then I slide it over more and it says, are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Mm. Um, and then I turn it to the right more. Uh, to be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm now in it. How did I get in there? Oh, I, I wonder. I wonder if you're supposed to... Let me go back outside. My clock now says... Oh, it's now open now. Okay. Did you do something there to open it? I was just... Just in the slider, I clicked on this little wind-up doll. Whatever you did <laughs> must have... I mean, I, I can now... I'm now in the shop. Okay, cool. There's a radio. <laughs> yep. Um... So I'm tuning into different letters. Last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going. Mm hmm. The oldest raven daughter, Amali, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps. The raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. Her pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. A strange. Strange occurrence has shook our village droves, droves of lifeless. No more walking for five miles to get to your letters. It's now March and the... Hmm. Uh, and, okay. So, oh, I can scroll up. Uh, I can too. There's a clock. Oh, there's, there's a, a bunch, bunch of, of clocks. clocks yeah. I can't adjust the clocks as far as I know. So, yeah. What does yours say? Uh, wait, if you keep scrolling up, there's a little p piece of parchment. Is um, there? Well, I, I can't. I'm clicking on it. Nothing's happening, actually. Okay. For when, up, oh. a calendar. Okay. I had feathers uh, scrolling up. On that ledge? Yeah. And then scrolling up more is a, is a newspaper article okay. framed. So you have a calendar. Oh, I can choose mm. a date. Um, Interesting. It says January 1927... But I can click and hold and drag it to a different date. Oh, interesting. Oh, and I can also change the day itself, too. Uh, your newspaper article, is there a date listed on it? It says Wednesday edition. All right, let me go to Wednesday. And is there a date? January, uh, is it January February? What, it what doesn't month? say that. It just says News Wednesday edition. In Raven's Clock Shop, you can buy all kinds of clockwork, request commissions, and get your old clock repaired. Today, grand opening of Clock Shop. The world-renowned clockmaker, Mr. Raven, has opened a new clock shop in our town. He is said to be an interesting char character. The level of detail is exquisite. Our own queen is said to have a couple of his elegant pieces. Today, he's opening his... And that's it. I don't get anything else. Okay, um, um, let me see if there's any other information. Um, let's see if that radio... Yeah, I'm trying to see if the radio set a date at all. Oh, okay, to be op able to open their clock t shop today, the 18th. So, I guess Wednesday falls on the 18th. I have something that says no more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the dot dot dot. So I wonder if the month is supposed to be March. Uh, okay. So um, March, so, Wednesday the 18th, maybe? Um, yep, it opened. All right, cool. I now have half a ticket. Oh, cool. So uh, you well, probably got the other half. I'm trying to get it. I can, only, I can only look at it. I can't seem to pick it up. Oh, yeah, I had to leave mine in the... Uh... In the other place because I can't put in my inventory. All right. Well, then we need to write this down. <laughs> so um, I need to, with a piece of paper, write down. All right. So I've got a four by four grid. Can you go back to your ticket and then write down or memorize? I prefer yeah, I already input it that first part in the train thing. Well, I don't have it. Hold on. Oh, okay. 
Uh, it was... Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One second, I'm finishing this chart. Okay, mm -hmm. so it starts from here. Goes up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then goes there up into the right and then ends there okay so i'm guessing yours ends on the bottom middle somewhere. yeah right. yeah it started and then it goes two squares up hold on i'm not there yet hold on oh sorry all right so starting from the very bottom left mm -hmm. um where do you go it went two squares up okay and then three squares to the right Okay. And then two squares down. All right. And now mine, this is where yours is going to pick up. Go to the right yeah. one. Yep. Up three. Okay. Uh, Two to the right. Okay. One up. Yep. One to the right. Yep. Something open. Yep. Something's happening. All right. Um, I guess I'll go back. Oh, there's, oh, there's a, train. a train up there to the upper <laughs> left. I'm gonna That's click. creepy. I'm clicking on the train. Okay. Chapter two it was getting harder to find animals for my experiments, but I still knew one I could get access to easily. 1927, 1928, 1931, 1930. <laughs> Mine says, I told Lark I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Now I'm at a bus stop. It says closed track. The one that we were just using is out of service. Okay. Is it? Do you see that? Yep. Okay. Um, I guess it says 12 midnight on the very top or the, mm -hmm. on the clock. Yep. All right. I'm going to scroll to the left and I'm going to see it. Raven's clocks again. Mm -hmm. It's closed so I can't access it. There's a building with a horn on it. Okay. Ooh. I went in it. Okay, I'll go in it too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so there's lock, lock boxes from the looks of it. Mm hmm. Interesting. Oh, I, there, um... there's little, there's like little bugs that I can wind up. It's weird. Like I can click on these bugs and they wind up. I wonder if that affects yeah, the clock outside. I wound one up right before you said that you were able to I get bet into you that's what that clock. so you're supposed to find these bugs in the environment click on them and that advances the time or what gets it to the next it time travels you Intr okay that's interesting oh okay right. so i'm i see um, i have a post office box i see 12 post office box things if you there's okay. three on each row okay they're numbered on the very top 14 16 18 Okay. 24, 26, 28. Are you saying the same thing? No, I don't have any lock boxes. I have like this weird red post office box and parchment paper to the right that I can't seem to interact with. What's on it? Anything? It just says, it says post brev cause. <laughs> okay. And then it has a slot like to put something in. Um, and that's it really. Doesn't seem like I can do much here. All right. Well, if you can't interact, I mean, I can click on these. Oh, wait a minute. I can adjust. They look like wheels on my end, but they're not wheels. It looks like I can actually adjust. Um, there's, you know, there's like Chinese Death Stars. They, they there's blades sticking to the right, to the left, up and down like a compass. Oh, okay. Think of yeah. a compass, but with four needles. One pointing up, one pointing to the right, one pointing to the left, and one pointing down. Okay. I can adjust those needles um, okay. to, to point to different things. I, let's explore those other places first, and then maybe we'll yeah. come back and see if this makes okay. any sense. That's fine. The house? Yeah, there's a house. So I'll click on the house. All right, so there's a deer above a fireplace to your head. I have... Um bells like hotel bells that um correspond to different rooms like the kitchen front door study music room office and dining hall okay <laughs> um i'm not able Ooh. to adjust my view at all uh, wait oh there's a door i can open the door but oh i can scroll down okay there's a basement with some boxes oh there's a rope i just un oh, okay there's some words here hold on 
I'm clicking on the bells. Are, are, is that doing anything for you? No, but I'm clicking on various things just to see what happens. There is a message. Um, okay. Hold on. It says, it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. <laughs> English. <laughs> That's, oh wait, hold on. There's, I clicked on a, okay. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. There's got to be the more. Dinner. Oh, there's more. Hold on. I'm clicking on <laughs> objects in the environment and words are just spewing out. Oh, interesting. I've been working on this. Okay, here we go. I'll throw, okay, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. Okay, I, so I'd like study. you to keep it safe for me. Okay, so this, I guess ring the study bell first. Okay, I did. Now... Whoa. It like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. So try the pantry bell next after the study. I have a kitchen, but I don't have a pantry. I have kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall. Maybe the kitchen? The kitchen. There is a pantry and a kitchen, right? Yeah. All right, try that. I did. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Dinner All right, table. so dining hall? I guess so. Okay. And that's all I have. Hmm. Um, let's see if there's anything else to interact with. So it was study, kitchen, dining. I have no, a letter no. here. No, it was study, kitchen. Yeah. Study, kitchen, dining, dining room, right? That's what I just said. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you said something else. Study, kitchen, dining room. And then I have a front door, music room, and office. I have a little note here in the bottom that says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I will open the door. And there's a door right here. Is that the Sarah. dog? Stop, yeah. Let's say. <laughs> Study, kitchen, I can I can click on a pipe and like. Uh -oh. oh, FedEx it. is here. I'll FedEx get it. or UPS. Or UPS. I'll get it. Hold on. Be right back, folks. Hold on one minute. All right, you there? Hi. Hi, okay. Yeah, package. Okay, so you said there was a melody of some sort that we could play? I guess. I'm just trying different ones out. <laughs> or should I not do that and open it by chance? Should I just wait? So wait, it, it, you said you you said something was left for me in the basement? 
Yeah, it says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I will open the door. Because these doorbells play uh, different melodies. Like, they have different notes, I mean. Okay, so that is related to... Mine says, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well like you did with the two kittens found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Okay. So it seems like there's a particular order of those bells that you needed to ring, right? Yeah. I've been doing the study kitchen dining hall, but then I still have front front door, music room, and the office. Does it matter? Like, mine doesn't have any... Like, so nothing happens after you... No. Study, kitchen, dining hall. Just those three don't work? I mean, you don't have to select all the bells, just the, just those three. Nothing Study, happened. kitchen, dining hall. Right, and did that work? Nothing, no. Well, all right, this pantry, could a pantry be in another room? Front door, music room, or the office? Hmm. Um, let me think about oh, it. Maybe oh, you know a, what? I bet, I bet front door is first. Is there like an actual room that you passed in order to get downstairs to the basement? Well, yeah, I'm in, I'm in like a, I'm in like a living room area. There's a uh, fireplace. I bet you, hmm? if it's like a living room area, maybe that's an office. No? No, it's a fire... There's a fireplace. I mean, there's no desk or anything. It's just a typical living room kind of thing. Hmm. There... I can see, like, a living room area, kind of, sort of, with a fireplace and a deer head. And then down below... I mean, there's a door. And then going down that door, there's the basement. And that's where I can see text that says, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me. I wonder if you're supposed to ring the bells because there's a lot of emphasis on one year, two kittens, and in five years when I've gained more knowledge. Try ringing the study bell once. Okay. The pantry bell twice. Okay. And the dinner, the, the dining room one five times. Oh, it worked. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that is impressive. You're welcome. I am kind of shocked right now. You're I was shocked like, that no I'm way. smart. I know, I know. <laughs> no, no, Everyone like, I, should be I had shocked no idea. that I'm smart. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, sometimes I have a, I sometimes I have a breakthrough. <laughs> oh my I'm so god. smart. <laughs> that it's was amazing. really good. amazing, I know, I know. That was my one hurrah for the for the year. No, that was good. Good job. All right, so I can move a bunch of... I'm in the basement. I have a bucket hanging by a rope. A bucket hanging by a rope? Okay. Like a barrel. A barrel with a hole in it, and it's, it's like, dangling on a rope. I All can right. sort of, like, punch it a little bit. So try sliding. I can slide things around, like... Yeah, me too. But I don't see anything behind them, so... Um, it, hmm... Just keep clicking on stuff until you. Ah! Oh, I'm breaking this barrel. Okay. Okay. Okay, a clock just came out. A clock. Yeah, my broken clock, like, like from the beginning, the pocket watch. Oh. And it keeps. Uh huh. What does it say? It says tw it says midnight three o'clock and then midnight again three times and then three o'clock and then six o'clock and then it looks like it resets midnight three o'clock. How is a how is a pocket watch say six times on it? I don't understand. It's it's winding like it, it looks it's looping from certain numbers. Oh. Like the the big hand is just repeating on a loop in certain spots. I see. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, well, with that, alright, so is there anything else in here to get? Let me write this down, though, because it looks You can't important. take it with you? No, I can't. Alright, so midnight, 3 o'clock. 
Midnight again, twice. No, three times. Three o'clock again, and then six. Okay. I got it. Yeah, I can't take it with me. Alright. <sighs> um... Seems like that was it. Well, yeah. Unless you think there's more in there? Well, no. Um, can you go into the Raven's Clocks building? No, I can't. There's something we're missing then, because, like... My clock now says it was 12 before. Right now it's 11. So I okay. think we have to continue finding those bugs in order to wind back time. I guess. Um, is there... Can you just look around the house again, see if there's any of those cockroach? Yeah, I didn't see any, but I can look again. Alright, me too. I'm gonna just slide things around and... Um... Nope. All right. Well, I'll get out of this house. All right. Um. So we need. I wonder um, if we have to go back to that post office place. I was there, and I don't. With I this don't, code. I know, but I don't understand what it's asking me to do. Because the numbers on it are. Like, 14, 16, 18, 24, 26, 28, 34, 36, 38, 44, 46, 48. So, mm. like, I don't know what numbers... Can you change those numbers? I can change all? all of them. I can change... I can I can adjust the wheels on all of them. But which ones I should be adjusting, I don't know. And, and there's four needles. So, like, I would... I can adjust... Mm. Um, how many times does it, how many different times does that pocket watch? Seven. Seven. There were seven times that it listed. Let me write this down. You said it was 12? <laughs> yeah, it was midnight and then three o'clock and then midnight again three times. And then three o'clock again and then six o'clock. Okay. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to adjust all of this, like, no, let's try three mm -hmm. o'clock. All right, let's try six o'clock. I don't think that's it. Yeah, and, and on my end, I just have, like, these little parchment papers that I can't, like, I can click on them and they tremble. But they don't do anything else. You can't open. You can't slide them. You can't do anything. No. Nope. Um. There. Nope. There's these little post boxes on the left, but again, they only tremble when I click on them, and I can't slide them. I can't drag them or Is do anything. Is there a number or any any other information? It just says five on them. On two of them, it says five, and on the middle one, it's a white box, nothing on them. Wait, it says. W right, it says five on. There's how many mailboxes total do you see? There's three. three. There's a top one. There's a middle one. There's a bottom so one. So it's they're vertical. They're one sitting on top of the other. Yeah, it's like a book. It's like a shelf, and yeah, there's three boxes on that shelf on each shelf. On the left side, it's like cut off. What do you mean on the left? So do you do you see like a three? Do you see a four by twelve column at all? No, not at all. It's like a room. I'm in a, like a post office room. Post office room. Mm hmm. And I... there's a red. There's a red big old post office sort of thing, post thing where you can stick mail in a slot. Um, and on the left side of that. Is a book is like a cut off bookshelf, 
and sticking out of like in those shelves are these are like half of these post boxes that I see. They don't look significant, but I don't know. And you said there's three of them. Yeah, there's only three. There's one in the top. The numbers on the number on mm -hmm. the top says what? Five. It's like a postage stamp. It says five on the top. What's the middle one say? Nothing. It's just a white box. Are the other ones white? The third one is a uh, uh, is the same one as the first one, and they're the first and the third one are brown with a postage stamp that has um, the number five. They're both exactly the same. Okay, brown five. Yes, yeah, <laughs> none of mine. All of my post office boxes are even numbers, so there's like no five. Mm. Um, and then they're all white. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click on each one to see if... No, nothing special there. Okay. There's something that we're missing. I mean, there's no way I can... Yeah. Hmm. Um... Alright, let me... Let's look around a little bit more. I think there might be something in, you know, the, that clock store if we can access it. I, mine says 10 o'clock now. Mine is 11. Why does that clock keep changing? I wonder if this is a timed mission. <laughs> oh, you know what? I figured it out. To change the clock, keep scrolling left. Really? Yeah, every time you keep scrolling left and make one full revolution, uh, it changes the clock. So now I can enter Ra Raven's clock. Interesting. So it wasn't those beetles with the things on. Well, maybe, I don't know. I see. Okay. All right. So now I'm in the shop. I see a bird, a white bird. Okay. There's tweezers. There's some sort of tool. There's, um, do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed. There's some marbles. Hmm. I don't have any of that. <laughs> what do you see? I have, um, like, a little table, and on top of, above the table is a clock, but it's like half of a clock, and it, there's a picture frame to the right. And if I click on the picture frame, it's of a woman with a black, like that back of a head of a woman with a black bow and the white and a white raven. On the actual table, the shelf, there's a lantern. There's a letter for um, uh, Emily Raven with the same postage stamp that has the five on it. There's a plant. Oh, wait and there's a minute. A wait a minute. That's <laughs> important. So, what does this letter say? Is it say, Dear Amali, I'm pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice? Um, hold on. I just clicked on it, and now I can't access it. Oh, I have it in my inventory. Okay. So, I can't seem to click on it now. It just says, like, I picked it up, and then it did, like, a little ding sound. I wonder if you're and... supposed to put that into the mailbox slot. Oh, maybe. If it has that same postage, six, oh, the five. Let me try that. Oops. Mm. <gasps> yep. Okay. All right, happen? it's sending it. Okay, yeah, it says post box number 28, northwest, ah, hold west. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, yep. hold on, hold on, wait, wait, <laughs> <Yeah>. wait. <laughs> um, that's important. 28. Yes, it is. All right, 28. On. 28, and then what were the directions? Northwest. Okay. West. Uh-huh. Southwest. Uh-huh. And east. Okay, all right, it opens. I got okay. a letter. Am Emily Raven. Okay. okay, I got a key. Here's your key to the clock shop. When you're done working, okay. could you help me look for my raven? I also got a key. Okay, so let's get out of here. At least we figured this part out. All right, so let's go back to that shop. Okay. Right? Oh, oh, we're supposed to forward time 
because the my note said that I had to come back when I was when the shop was closed. So oh. now we've got a key. Scroll to the right until the shop is closed. Okay. And then we'll use our key to get in. I just did. Oh yeah, I did too. Interesting. Okay. Now the clock is assembled on my table here. It's okay. It's, it's open for me to see. I see. I have. I have a book. <laughs> I've got I've got a, a clock. It's an open pocket watch with marbles inside of it. There's green, red, white, and black. Hello, bird. Okay. Interesting. I have a couple books. Hold on, let me look through them. Okay. You said you had marbles? Yes. Alright, I have a book that, that is describing six marbles to me. The malachite is a copper mineral known for its green col color and can be used to create durable pigments. And then the white one is quartz. It's commonly used, blah, 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 and all that stuff. <laughs> well, um, I, I have to arrange these marbles in a particular pattern. Okay. There's another book here, New Methods of Measuring Time. Through multiple studies, Miss Shar figured out that a timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz in the channeling plate. And it has a star. Does not help. Um, For highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Um, I think this sequence would be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing time. The tiger's eye, which is the brown one, the brown Jupiter looking one, okay. should be to the left of the quartz, which is the white clear glass marble. The malachite, it says the malachite, which is the green one, cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby, which is the red one. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye, which is that Jupiter one. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so this is a logic that I've got to rearrange these correctly. Yeah. So starting with the brown, just do, just do the, the colors. Brown cannot, is to the right of white, correct? Tiger's eye should be to the left of the qu of the quartz, which is white. white. Brown left of white. The mm -hmm. next color is what green. The green one cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the red one. Far sides or next to. That means that it has to be somewhere in the middle. That green one. Okay. Um, and then what was the next one? The ruby, the red one, must not be directly next to the brown one. Next to brown. Anything else? And then, it's, and then it says um, here, for highest precision, precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. I don't know what that means. And then it says, point it instead towards the malachite, stores time better, question mark. Then it says, when everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Once the lid is closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. <laughs> Jesus. Hold on. Close. So much stuff. It's a, it's a puzzle. I have, to, I have to do everything in the right order. Yeah. Um, brown needs to be left of white. I got that. Green cannot be on the sides or next to red, which it currently is. Um, so... I wonder if I'm supposed to do something like that. Red cannot be next to brown. All right, well, that's not going to work either. So maybe it's supposed to be... Oh, all right. Um, brown left of white. Got that. Green cannot be on the far side. Okay, so I wonder if I'm supposed to put brown on the far end here. One moment. I'm mm -hmm. rearranging stuff. All right, so brown is to the left of white. Green cannot be next to red. Or green cannot be uh, on the sides or next to red. Oh, this okay, that's not good. So then maybe green needs to be on the far left. Oh, wait, green cannot be on any of these. The green has to be somewhere in the middle then. Hmm. If, if, okay, so green cannot be in any of the far sides or next to red. So green has to be in one of the middle slots. But 
I wonder if if if. Let's try this. I wonder if, if I wonder if. I'm hoping that white doesn't have to be directly. To the yeah, background. I don't think it does. I don't think it needs to be directly next to it. Okay. Because that's it doesn't say that. It just says the tigers. The brown one should just be to the left. But now that's it all. says red cannot be next. To, okay, so red cannot be next to brown. Balance toward three quarters. What the heck is that? What is that? What did you say with the balance? It's, it just says for highest precision, precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Um, the white one. Yeah, it just says Miss Shar figured out that a timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz in the channeling plate, whatever the channeling plate is. And then it says for highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. And then, but then it says point it instead towards the malachite. Because it stores time better. Malachite Question is mark. what? Green? The green one. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, something just happened. All right. Uh, you said 12 o'clock to test it? Uh, it says when everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind I the clock. It. Okay. <laughs> I just got sucked in. All right. I think. Um... It is now giving me times. How much Time? you want to bet this is related to the ticket? Hold on. Um, so, Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> hold on. Let me let me write this down. Three. All right. I, I have to start over. Three. 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 Six. Three. Six, six. Oh, hold on. Three, 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 six, three, six, six. All right. So we now have. I have a, a clock that did the same thing that you were doing. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I wonder if now we have to input this into. To what? <laughs> um, let's, let's, as in a crazy experiment, let's try this. This is going to be the route. How much you want to bet? Oh. The 12 o'clock is north. 3 o'clock okay. is east. 6 o'clock is south. So okay. follow me on this as you're, as I'm doing it. 12 o'clock. Okay. Uh, do up one. Okay, up one. To the right one. Right one. Up three. One, two, three. To the right one. Yep. Down one. Yep. To the right three. One, two, three. Down one. Yep. To the right one. Yep. Down two. One, two. Yeah. And then to the right or no? No. <laughs> um, okay. well, wait. Oh, yeah, to the right one. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Good job. And then if we get out of here, the yep, train. The train. Right, I'm clicking on the train. <laughs> very good. I'm very impressed. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> <I'm so smart. laughs> Chapter three. It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. It's creepy. It says I knew Lark wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am now in front of a gate. Same. There are six light bulbs on the top of the screen. Mm hmm Um, there's three on the left, three on the right. Mm hmm I'm able to tap them, and they're lighting up the gate. As I'm doing it, they're lighting up the top six middle wreath. Is there, like, a wreath-looking thing yeah. on the gate? If yeah, they're lighting up for me, too. The top ones only? Yeah. All right, let's unselect them for now. I bet you there's other ones to the side. Yeah, I bet you. Okay. So I'm thinking what we have to do is we have to find the correct pattern. Oh, yeah. What light bulbs to light up, which ones not to light up for each of these different screens. Bella. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, because there's six uh, where the ha If you scroll to the right, there's, there's yeah. a house there with six more. Okay. So yep. I'm going to go into the house just to see what's there. Okay. All right. I'll I, go see, I see a telephone. Me too. Um, the numbers that are on it are one, two, three. Star four 
hashtag zero. Or no, pound, pound I, sign, I should say. I have five, six, seven, and then plus eight squiggly line, and then nine. Squiggly. The, you know, the, the Tesla, til, tilde. Tilda? Yeah. Um, well, we have no... Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm tap... I'm clicking the numbers, but... Okay, so I'm... If you click on the numbers, it appears to be giving me text. Is it giving you oh, text? Oh, yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like I have to rearrange these... Uh, rearrange this. Hmm. Hey, Lark, I'm glad. So, let me... Alright. Um, look for uh, look for a capital letter. That's how I know that that's the start. Yeah. Alright, so the only one on my end that has a capital... First, like the first word is capitalized, is number two. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna write that down as number two. I don't have any... Starting capitals. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, well, first, let's do this. Let's do that first. Two. Hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally... That's no, not that. Earlier, but you, that's not that. Two. Star. Nope. I'm I'm basically trying to get the sentence to make sense. Hey Lark, I'm so glad you finally know that before I left. I made that's not it either. All right. Uh, I wonder like do um do is it like our sentences? Like do we have to put ours together? I'm I'm I think I have to hit the right combination of numbers on my end. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Um but you know, what, let's let's come back to this. Um, and see what else there is to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, there's another building with the horn on it. Yep. I'm going to go inside there. Yep. Oh, uh, I have the same thing that you did, I think, I with the a, compass thing. Uh, I have a radio and a light bulb and a, one of those uh, SOS telegraph things. Okay. I have three lock boxes that say 44, 46, and 48. With the compass uh, star things that I can adjust. Okay. And buttons to press in the, in the bottom underneath them. But there's only three of them. Oh, no, there isn't. There's... Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> oh, there's one already open. It says, I am so excited to restore the clock shop with you, Lark. Soon we are going to be a proper family again. Meet me in the basement of the shop. Do you have anything there that resembles uh, code? Because um, I have a lot of dots and dashes. Like I can, I can, I can create Morse code with this telegraph thing. I can okay. make a ten-letter word or something, but uh, I, I don't know what the what the word is. Yeah, nor do I know what I don't know Morse code. So like, I, I don't know. All right, so. Is there okay? So in your building, what did you see again? You said you saw how many of those clock things did you see? Uh, these log boxes. Yeah, there's is there um, twelve of them. There's, there are, um, three in each row. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, there's there's three in each row, but the very top row, the middle one is open, and and in there is that that letter that I read to meet you at. To meet me in the basement of the shop is right. what the letter said. Is there? Can and you interact with these other lock boxes? Yes, yes, I can. All right, well, but um, you don't know which the one, one to interact with, though. Yeah, I don't know. And the one in the top left is like blocked because of the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else is around because this isn't helping. Okay. Um, the ra there's Raven's clocks again. Mm -hmm. I can go in mine. I can. It's dark though. Ooh, it's creepy. I can go underground. Oh. I can go into the basement. There's a light. There's a generator of some sort with nine buttons on it. Yeah, there, there's me wolves, too. There's butterfly, uh, yep. snake, keyhole. Doll, ladder. Yes. So, if I turn mine on. Ooh. So... Mine currently shows... Hold on. Oh, this is creepy. 
It just shut off. What picture did it show before it shut off? Dots. Three dots, I think. Hold on, let me, let me try again. <laughs> it's just three dots. That would be Morse code. Oh. Um, hold on a minute. Can I adjust? Can you move anything around on your end or no? Uh, I try to click on something while the thing was playing, and I clicked on the middle uh, of the middle symbol, which was a keyhole for me, and it said X, and then it shut off. I'm. Hold on, I hold on. Let me try some. Bird. Dot dot dot. Alright, hold on a minute. All right, so new, new, okay. Bird is equal to dot, dot, dot. Um, I think this is like a, a, okay, bird. I'm supposed to hit this in the right order, I think. Mm. The first one is bird. Not the doll. It's probably the wolf next. But isn't there, shouldn't there be something... That should tell you what these symbols are? Like, what's the right order? I'm experimenting at the moment. Bird. That's not it. Snake. Oh, so, okay, so I clicked bird and snake. So maybe it's uh, your turn. Um, hold on. Alright, alright. So, let me, let me... That, that's it. Okay, so wait. Hold on. Look, don't click anything yet. I just want to see what uh -huh. happens when I do it. I just want to see if there's a relation. Bird 7. I didn't see the bird. I just kept hearing you say that the bird was the first symbol or something. So I clicked on bird and the snake showed up for me on my screen when I clicked on it. Oh. Uh, so we have alter alternate. Okay. Um, okay, so maybe we should do this at the same time. But there's numbers here, so I don't know if that maybe. means anything. All right, all right let, let's go through the sequence first. Um, okay. Did you start it? Yeah, I started it. All right, mine's bird. Okay, so click I click it. birds. Mine's snake. Snake. Um, nine? Mine says uh, nine. Maybe the hourglass? Oh, no. No, never mind. <laughs> Because I went like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I clicked on the last symbol, which was m the hourglass for me. Now it says six. Oh, I bet. Like the numbers keep changing on me, so it's like when when I click on the snake, a number comes up. The last so maybe... one was nine. This one says six. So, why don't you click on the symbol that corresponds to that number? How how would I do that? Like, if you count, the very first symbol in the top right is one. The second symbol that is two. doesn't make any two. sense, though, because... Because these symbols keep changing positions, don't they? Oh, they do. Hold on. One, then snake, then three, butterfly. Butterfly. Okay, that's three. Okay. Um, then I'm waiting for... For me? Yeah. Okay, all right, let me try on. that. All right, all right, so we have to start over. It times out. Okay. So, on. All right. All right, so we've got bird. Yep. You've got, what, a snake? Yeah. All right, now it says two. My two is butterfly. Okay, butterfly. Yeah. Now Mine says five, which is keyhole. Got it. Mine says okay. snake minus three. One, two. The hourglass. Hourglass. Okay. Mine says two with a diagonal of right. Snake. So maybe the gear. Oh, damn it! That was for the you. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. I. I, I when oh, you, you messed reading, up. Well, I was. I was. You said two with a bottom right. I thought that was for me to press. That was for you to let me know what the symbol was. Sorry. But now we've okay. got. So yeah, you need to figure out in your head what that is and tell me what it is. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm so, just going to write all this down. No, no, it's different every <laughs> time, though. It's going to be different because these symbols keep spinning around. So I uh, click on. But it, it, it looks like it's the same one. Bird, snake, butterfly, right? 
Uh, hold on. Bird. Keyhole hourglass. Hold on. Bird, snake, butterfly, keyhole. Was it hourglass? Yeah. Alright. Um, Alright, let's. I want to hit on again. Okay, me too. Bird. Let's just try snake. Okay, uh, butterfly. Yeah, mm -hmm. the numbers are different, but they point to this keyhole and then our glass, you said? Yeah. All right, and then what's next? Um, hold on. Uh, it's five up, which is ge uh, gear. All right, well, I'm, okay, so gear, all right, I'm... Sorry, uh, gear. I, I wrote it down. <laughs> all right, um, so at this, okay, on at the same time, ready? Okay, one, yep. two, three, go. Um, so we've got bird. Okay. Uh, next, click on snake. Got it? Yep. Yep. Butterfly. Butterfly. Keyhole. Keyhole. Hourglass. Hourglass. Gear. Gear. Railway. Okay. Puppet. It says puppet. Puppet. Two so into the, the bottom left. What does that even mean? Oh, butter. What's yours say to the bottom left? No, it says dot, dot, dot. All right. So, okay. So I think, well, the only one left is the wolf. So what was after gear? That was railway, then puppet. Okay. Then the only one left was the wolf. I bet you the it was wolf. the wolf. All right, so let's yeah. try that combination. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna do bird, snake, yep. butterfly, keyhole, hourglass, gear, railway, puppet, wolf. Oh! Nope. <laughs> That last one. Okay, so it's not the wolf. I have to wonder if it's the butterfly again. Well, it's when we, all right. Let's let's coordinate when we get. To, it said two into the upper left though. Two into the upper left of what? Where I just clicked. All right, let's try. I'm gonna try that again. Bird. Snake. Butterfly. Okay, it is butterfly. You did it. Yeah, and then the next one, snake, after that. So hold on, gear. I can only do one at a time. Railway, Sorry. puppet. Mm -hmm. Then you said butterfly again? Yeah. And then, then wolf? And then snake. Snake. Howl is wolf. Okay, so we need to... Wow, okay. So there's all... Okay, okay. Yeah, this is too much. Okay, so let's write this down. So there was puppet, <laughs> and then butterfly again. Then there was, um, what was after the butterfly? You said snake? Uh, yes. And then after the snake, it was wolf? Uh, I don't know. That was on your end. Okay. So I got up to wolf. Okay. All right, all right so let's start this over. Ready? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, I'm writing this down. I gotta write it down neater. <laughs> um, puppet, butterfly, okay. We're, we're definitely gonna have to coordinate this yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Snake and wolf. You said wolf. Okay. We're about halfway okay. done with it. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> On. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. All right. Bird. Bird. Snake. Snake. Butterfly. Butterfly. Keyhole. Keyhole. Hourglass. Hourglass. Gear. Gear. Railway. Mm hmm. Puppet. Puppet. Butterfly, butterfly snake, snake wolf wolf uh wolf plus three which is to butterfly no nope, is a butterfly that's that for me wolf plus three was butterfly but that that didn't work for me so it was number four wasn't it what was your wolf plus three my wolf plus three it was in the top left See, that's what I mean. Oh. Like, when it says wolf plus three for you, that's for you to tell oh. me what it is on okay. your end. Okay, so that was bird. So that was a bird. All right, My so bad. Now, now we're up to bird. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Ready? <laughs> this is so confusing. It is. Ready? On. All right. Yeah, on. <laughs> bird. Okay. Bird. Snake. Snake. Butterfly. Butterfly. Hell. Hourglass. Hell. <laughs> Hourglass. Gear. Railway. Puppet. Where's puppet? Puppet. Butterfly. Mm hmm. Snake. Wolf. Wolf. And then bird. bird. What's Got yours? It. Um, down into the right four. 
Um, oh, snake. Ah! Did it time out? Yeah. Alright, so th I'm now waiting for you on that one. So after bird, it was snake. Okay. Right. Bird, snake, butterfly, All right, snake, keyhole, butterfly, keyhole, gear, right. ladder, puppet. I'm not as far as you. Hold on. Butterfly. Oh, okay, sorry. Butterfly. Snake. Yep. Okay. Wolf. Wolf. Bird. Bird. Snake. Snake. Okay. Uh, keyhole. Got it. Uh, machine, which is gear. Gear. Yep. Uh, snake. Snake. Uh, wolf minus one, which is bird. Bird. Which yours? Es escape. Es ladder. Damn it. Uh, oh no, it wasn't. It might have been keyhole. Oh, might have been keyhole. All right. So mm -hmm. snake, and then how far did we make? We we're really close. All right, yeah, we are. One, one more time. So we have snake, then we mm -hmm. had key keyhole. What, what, when we got up to bird and snake toward the end there, right? Did you write yeah, any it of that was, down? Yeah, it was keyhole, snake. No, it was, it, no, it was bird, then snake, yeah. then key, yeah. then yeah. GR, which is uh, gear. Wait, no, I thought that was a snake. That After the gear, it was a snake. All right, let, let's do this again. Okay. Ready? Okay. I owned it. Bird. Bird. Snake. Snake. Butterfly. Butterfly. Keyhole. Keyhole. Hourglass. Yep. Gear. Yep. Railway. Yep. Puppet. Yep. Butterfly. Yep. Snake. Yep. Wolf. Yep. Bird. Yep. Snake. Yep. What's yours? Keyhole. Keyhole. Machine yep. gear. Okay. Next snake. to snake. Uh, f bird. Bird. And then keyhole? Keyhole. Got it. Yep, me too. All right, so there's a direction on mine. Okay. Mine, there's an X to the south and an X to the southeast, whatever that means. I have two pointing to the northeast. Two X's pointing to the northeast. Two X's pointing both? Yeah, like on one X in the inner circle and then another X on the outer circle. Oh, oh there's circles. Okay, um, hold on, that's important. So you have one X on the outer circle on northeast and then one X on the inner circle northeast. Yes. That's yours, Idalise, and then mine yep. is this one. Both of mine are outer circle. Oh, okay. okay. So what do they point to? I don't know yet, but it's like, some, it's something. Um, but what's the direction? So one is south, completely south, outer ring. Oh, okay. One is southeast, outer ring. Southeast, okay. So there's four mm -hmm. directions here. Um, okay. I bet you that's to the... You said you had a winding thing in the post office? Um, I think so. I there's, don't remember. There's, there's <laughs> four... No, there's four needles that you can adjust. I bet you it's to that. Oh, so I, I think I, we just got the code for that. Okay. Oh, when you scroll up from the basement shop, I got a radio. Me I don't too. know if you got a radio. Oh, okay. Have vanished in the middle of the night... Determined to reopen and bring back Lori to Raven's Clocks. Home yesterday evening. They are asking for assistance finding the missing patients to be used again. There is already a letter in the post. Post box 34. So now we have the directions and the post box number for you. Okay. Post box 34. 34. Okay. Um, okay. Did you read it? Oh. Um, I'm going through them now. Village again. Okay. The station's now permanently closed. Okay. All right, let's go back to your post office. Okay, should I read mine in case there's anything significant? If you'd like. <laughs> Three patients from the nursing home in Hill Hillbake. And then it says, The talented 
Emily Raven has returned home from Switzerland. She is dot dot dot. The police are looking for anyone who is in the vicinity of the nursing home, I assume. The post office's water damage is repaired and all post boxes are ready. The tragic nursing home incident has reopened in wound old wounds in our village. We we have no news when train service will return to our Okay. Clarissa, Clarissa Shar, the generous benefactor of our new clock tower, died last night. Okay. All right, go to your post office. Let's get that. Okay. Done. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're looking for box 34. 34. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. South. Southeast. Uh, but which which hand, though? All of them? All, all of them. Uh, uh, there, is there a little hand? There's four... There's four needles. Right. And are, they're pointing are they, north, are they, south. Are they, are they the same size? Yeah. Do one one to the south. Mm-hmm. One to the southeast. Okay. And the other two to the northeast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Northeast, northeast. Mm, nothing's happening. Unbox oh, wait. I have, to, I have to press the button. Yes. Did it work? Yep, it worked. Post office telegram. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. Huh? <laughs> um, read that again. Post office telegram. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Short, long, short. Okay, how many, all right. How many times is short and long, the words short uh, and long in that sentence? Yeah. That will indicate how many, I have, there should, you should count a total yeah. of 10. 10? Ten? 10. For, for both long and short? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, ten. Okay. What's the first word? What's is it short or long? Long. All right. Next one. Short. Next. Short. Next. Long. Next. Long. Next. Long. Next. Short. Next. Short. Next. Long. Next. Long. Got it. Mm -hmm. Light bulb lit up. And something is... What's happening? I don't know. It's just doing stuff. Um, I wonder if this relates to the light bulb puzzles themselves. Like if I'm supposed to. So when mm. I click when I click on the radio, the light bulb will go on and off, on and off. But I don't know if that's. Hold on. The button. It'll go on and off automatically? Shh. All right, hold on. I'll have to start over. Sorry. I, I'm going to write down the pattern. Oh, there's a pattern. Shh. Okay. Okay. Short. Long. Short. 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 Long. 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 Short. Long, long, short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So let me just verify this before I move on. Short, long, short, 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 long, long, long. Short, mm -hmm. long, long, short. 
All right, I got the I got the sequence. All right, so what that did, I don't know, but um, do you have to input that in your little Morse code thing? No, that was just that was to that, that Morse code was to get the Morse code for something else. I'm guessing it's for uh -huh. you at some point. Okay. So, um, what are we? What are we missing as far as puzzles go? Um, th is there a puzzle that we passed up on yet? Oh, the uh, the telephone. Remember the telephone in the house? Okay. Um, maybe I'm supposed to try and rearrange these. All right, hold on. Let's see if I can figure this out. Hey, mm -hmm. Lark, I'm so glad you finally was pouring down and made me scared. It doesn't make sense. All right, two. So glad you finally earlier bit you. Never mind. Are you still? No, that's not it. Two. I wonder if... No. What was I thinking of? I wonder if your messages some somehow correspond to mine. I think they do. Because I have one that says, decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Oh, and which, was that your number one? Or That's my number seven. So I'm thinking we just have to, like, order it, maybe? Okay. Somehow? So, all right. So, hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally is number two. Okay. Then, if you cycle through all your buttons, which one makes the most sense? To finish, hey Lark, I'm so glad you finally. Um, is that your uh, number seven that you said, or was there another another button that that could it be anything yeah, else? I think I think it could be number seven. Finally, uh, yes, seven. Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving something something. Hold on, okay. So I you your sentence ended. I've been leaving. Yes. All right. Um, let me cycle through mine and see what makes mm -hmm. sense. I've been leaving earlier, but you never. I, let me. It's probably number three, but let me just make sure. I've been leaving you so many messages. It could be that. Um, I've been leaving. Know that before? No. I've been leaving. Can know? No. Okay. Um. All right. So I'm thinking it's um. I'm thinking it's asterisk. And mine says... So my, my sentence starts, Hey Lark, I'm so glad you finally... Your sentence says... Go ahead. Um, For number one... Or number seven. What, what did your number seven say? My, my seven said, Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. You Okay, mine says, You so many messages. Wait, I know. You're still... And now, so you need to find something that says, um... Okay, I, I think my, num my number five is angry, but don't don't hang up on me five. yet. I okay. really... All right. Yeah. So, V-A, okay. And then, so, so don't hang up on me yet. Is that the end mm -hmm. of it? No, and then it says, I really want you to... Really want... Yada, yada, yada. Okay, <laughs> let me figure this out. Two... Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. Nope. Um, mine, I think, next one is number four, which is to know that before I left, I made you something to keep. And, and there's another, it's not an end of the sentence, though. Something to oh, keep. Oh, okay. So, something to keep. So you're looking for a verb, probably. Yeah. Hidden, saved, stored. Uh, I'm looking. Before I left, I made you something to keep. All right. Um, you company. All right, which one was that number? Keep you company. I would have told you nine. It was nine for okay. me. And keep keep with the sentence. Keep you company. It was keep you company. I would have told you something, something, something. All right, I would have told you. told you earlier th okay three for me okay so mine says earlier but you never mind are you still oh i think i know hold on um uh are you still hmm 
Hold on. Oh, are you still... Dang it. M mad at me when I arrived. Um, well, wh what number was that? But that's... It's six, but it's done. Like, that's the last sentence. Well, then I still need a number, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, need, I still need a, a fifth number. So that Okay, was sorry. So that's probably not it. Well, no. Keep... Hold on. I need five... I need five numbers, and you need five numbers. So we're not done. Yeah. So yeah, I know. What, so that wasn't finish, it. Finish that one. Oh, was that a period at the end of that? Yeah, that, yeah that was a period. Oh, there was then, nothing... Then it's not six. Yeah. It stinks because it was the only one that made sense. What was the last one word for that All right. sentence? I forgot. Let me... All right. Um, we go back to... Well, maybe mine wasn't three. Um, go back to your... Open up nine. Nine was... You company. I would have told you... Let me see if there's any other option. No. Okay, so mine says, you said told you, and then um, mine is earlier, but you, never mind. Are you still? Are you still? Oh, are you still there? Maybe. Are you still there? Okay, what number is that? Uh, that's my little tilde. Tilde. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, and then, then it's it the says, rest of it. you know your raven that went missing, the one blank, blank, blank. One, you named Cole. That's zero for me. I made a new one for you. And then, all right, so I made a new one for you, comma, and then you need to finish it. What's the one with that period? Six? I mean, yeah. Okay, so maybe it's six. Well, what does it say, six? Oh, it just says mad at me when I arrived. <laughs> no. Mine says... You named Cole. I made a new one for you, comma. Oh, it's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die, period. Which, so it's probably that one. Which number? That's eight. All right, so your, your numbers are seven, five, nine, tilde, eight. Mm -hmm. um, and let me try inputting mine. Two, star, four, three, zero. Ringing. All right, I got it. Did you get it? Mm, nothing's happening here. Did you click the, the phone? Oh. Oh, the yeah. Okay, I see. There's a ladder. Yep, ladder. All right, so let me go up the ladder. All right, so now I am in some kind of uh, hmm. attic with a bunch of pictures on the wall. Okay. I just have a bird cage with a robotic bird inside and the letters Z, Z, Z. On the bottom that looks like i can switch z z z yeah i can switch oh they look like um those fraternity the greek letters oh like alpha pi alpha yeah a, B, 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 B. oh they have all the letters a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p okay so i have just a bunch of schematics on the wall okay um i have a picture of the telegraph and a bird so okay. I'm wondering if somehow, like, what are you able to change on your end? Uh, letters. That's underneath just this three, robotic bird. Just three letters, huh? Three letters. And it's like, a, yeah, like an infinite amount of letters. Three letters, and I can change them to whatever letter. <laughs> that's what I meant. Hold on. Can you click on anything else? No. Mm -mm. All right. The only clue that I can think of that relates... Oh, crap. All right. Telegraph on the left side of the clock. I'm looking at a clock. 12, 3, 6, and 9. There's mm -hmm. um, a bird head on one side, a mechanical bird head on the right, and a telegraph on the left. Okay. So somehow we have to use... Okay. I wonder if the telegraph um, uh, well, has anything to do with that short, long... It does, long... because, think about it, um, I think each letter in the Morse code alphabet is three dashes or dots. Mm hmm Right? So, I just have to figure out what the four letters are, because there were 12, 12 Morse code symbols. 
Mm. Maybe. Mm. But you have only three <laughs> letters, though. Not four. You don't have four. Mm -mm. All right. I'm, oh, maybe I'm, I wrong. Wonder, maybe I'm wrong about that. I wonder if my bird changes positions and then it resets to... So that I can enter even more letters or something. No. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> wow, get a headache. Okay. Um. Hmm. S L S. Um. I, I wonder. You... Oh, oh, I wish I. Go ahead. I was gonna say I wish I could go backwards because if I miss a letter, I have to scroll all the way again. It's annoying. Um, let me go back to. I'm going back to that one place. Okay. Which place? Long, short, short. Let me start over. Short, long, short, short. Do I really have to look up the Morse code alphabet? Oh, I'm man. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look it up just to see. Um, I don't think it's in the game, but Morse code alphabet chart. All right. I actually know what? Some only have two in it. Some have four. All right. So what I need to do is um, I need to look at this chart and give me give me one minute. And uh, there's clear breaks in between each of these letters, so I need to re rewrite down this pattern, observing okay. these breaks. So give me give me a, a minute to hear it. All right, one more time. Ah, crap. One word. Okay, that's what. Short, long. So, I don't know if this is one or not. Let me see. Um, short would be a dot. So, dot, dash, dash, dot. And then this is dot, dash, dash, dash. This is dot, dash, dash, dot. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's any... Short, long, short, oh wait, yeah, so this is, okay, so the first letter, I think, mm -hmm. is L, I think. Okay. I'm looking for the next one, so this is one, so short, long, 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 that was, so I'm looking for a dot. J, L, J, and then S, L, L, S is dot, dash, dash, dot, P, J, uh, L, J, P, try. Nope. Ah, really? Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing's happening. 
let me make sure I got this right. Dot dash dot. Okay, I just long, short, short, long. I wonder if that's all one. No, it can't be. Because there has to be enough for four, three letters here. Let's see if there's anything else that makes sense. So I've got... And you need three letters for sure, right? Mm-hmm. When you went to that bird place, the house... Yeah, hold was on. Was that the only... There wasn't that... the. What do you mean? Was that the only picture? Like, was that the only photo? Yeah, but I'm I'm thinking that this 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 Morse code alphabet ties to those three letters there. Mm. Um, and then short, long, long, short was oh, do I have that wrong? No, I'm good. Short, long. But see, there's there. It's what's weird is that there's a clear gap. Hold on. Long, long, short, space. Long. See, there was there was kind of a gap between the two middle L's, the two long, the two dashes, but. You only have enough room for three letters, so it's not like I can... Mm -hmm. Dot, dash, that, well, that's a... And long, long is... M. Oh, maybe it is four letters. Lamp. I'll try L-A-M. Well, no, <laughs> I, I bet you then this Morse code is for something else. This spells mm. out lamp. Is there okay. a lamp somewhere in a basement somewhere that we can interact with that would give us mm. the next clue that we would need? Just those lamps on the outside. No, that's not... A, no, that basement. Wasn't there lamps in that one basement? Um, Where the raven's clock was? Hold on. That store? Yeah, um, was there anything? Mm. Mm, I can't interact with it. Lamp. Ugh. <laughs> so Morse code, that has nothing to do with it then. Alright, so... Go back to the diagram with the birds. I'm getting there. Hold on. Can you scroll around it all in the other where the post office is? Like the post office is just all those lock boxes. No, there's I can't. nothing else. All right. There's nothing else in there. See, I don't have a lamp. You don't have a lamp. Mm. -mm. I'm getting stumped. All right, hold on. I my brain is I have a terrible headache. Okay, so the Morse code spells out lamp, but you've got three letters there, right? Mm-hmm. How many diagrams or pictures? Is I that have, the? I have five diagrams, but the one I don't know how the others are going to help you. Um. Can what do you, they say? Can you adjust the can you adjust the bird at all? Like if you click on the bird, can you move things around? Can you No. I can't click on anything in this screen except for the letters. Like the bird right now looks like it's off. Like it's like dead. <laughs> I 
and it's a it's a fat it's a fat bird with a big head and a small beak. I don't know if that makes a difference. Well, see, no. What, what's weird? Maybe I'm. See, this this telegraph would not be on the same picture as the bird unless it meant something. So either either my Morse code says lamp or this is LJP, but that doesn't that LJP doesn't make any sense. It's either it's either my Morse code. I don't know Morse code, but LAMP or LJP. The S and the this the dot and the dash 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 for the J. There was a break in between. So that turns into an A and an M. Mm. So, all right, let's think. There's letters here. Hold on a minute. Um, what do you see? You just is it a bird head? What do you what do you see? The, like uh, I the see like an bird? owl. Yeah, it's like an owl looking bird. Um, with a small, like, it has a big uh, wheel for an eye, like, a, that almost takes over its whole head, and it has a small beak. And it has, like, little wheels as a feet, like a little wheel as a foot. But the beak is, like, really small, and its eye is, like, huge. Are you trying to assemble it? It looks like it's already assembled. It's already assembled. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be turned on or something. With three letters. <sighs> <laughs> um, you said there were letters in the diagram? There were, but they're like, you know, whenever you, like from Ikea or something, you go to assemble something... You know, this is uh, called, this is part X. <laughs> it looks like a geometry thing. You know what I mean? Like a blueprint. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This clock has to mean something. It says three, six, nine, and twelve. Hmm. I'm thinking. Three, six, nine, and twelve. Um, and it's going clockwise. Let me see if I can find something. I'm gonna look elsewhere just just to see if there's something else I'm missing. I wonder if there's another lockbox I have to open. Because 3, 6, 9, and 12, that's where all these needle points are pointing to. Yeah, but I don't have any. There's no There's no handles on mine. Hmm. Hmm. These puzzles are getting tougher. Yeah, they are. It says three patients from the nursing home in Hellbake. That's what my radio says in the Raven's Clock building, the shop. The first one looks like it's a clue, just just letting you know, like, there's three symbols you have to input, uh, you know? What, what does that say? It says three patients from the nursing home in Hillbeak. And then the next statement is that talented, the talented... Emily Raven has returned from Switzerland. Right, wait, she... let me go to my radio and see if there's anything there. Like, I wonder if our messages combine. Yeah, maybe. Um, oh, wrong place. All right, so mine just says have vanished in the middle of the night. Have vanished? Ha oh, have vanished? Vanished. Okay, so three patients from the nursing home in Hillbeak have vanished in the middle of the night, right? Yes. Okay, and then the next one, mine says, The talented Emily Raven has returned from Switzerland. She is... Determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's clocks. Okay. 
my next sentence is the police are looking for anyone who's in the, vi in the vicinity of the nursing home yesterday evening they are asking for assistance finding the missing patients the post office's water damage is repaired and all post boxes are ready to be used again there is already a letter in post box 34 which we already know about <laughs> Yeah. The tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. We have no news when train service will return to our village again. The station is now permanently closed. Clarissa Shar. Um, oh my gosh. The generous benefactor of our new clock tower died last last something M month at the opening ceremony next week we will honor her memory so i think this mm. radio was only to pin down that one lockbox box oh uh, okay huh so i don't think this raven's clock is what we're looking for that my telegraph clue has to go with something like that's <laughs> that's right now that's the clue that we're not um like we're not tying to anything right now I've got mm. my telegraph. Now, what if I... I wonder... Hmm. And that was in the horn? That horn place? Yeah. Hmm. It stings because, like, if you don't know Morse code. <laughs> oh, wait a second. 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 You said lamp? Yes, lamp. Do you have a lamp? No, but let me try something. Because I have these weird looking symbols. What Hold where on. where are you at? I have I'm I'm back at the birdcage and putting the letters. But I have this weird looking symbol that's an A and an E. Like it's it looks like it's two letters at the same time. So let me try that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's not no. Dang it. I got excited. Lamp has to mean something. There's got to be like a lamp or... Uh, is there's, have... there's nothing, there's no lamp anywhere in any of your buildings? No. Not in my screen. But, um, I have these additional letters. I don't know what they are. What there's like this? an... Where do you see Like, this? in the same place where I have to input. It's just like an additional letters. Like an additional letter thing that i can input and it's an a and an e like the same lark you know that lark guy or whatever he has an a and an e looking thing like a letter i have the o with a dash through it and an a with a circle on top of it like it, they look like foreign letters so let me just say if i understand this correctly you can enter three there's a there's a space underneath the bird Yes. Where you can enter three letters. It's like a, it's like those lock um, mechanisms where you have to right. turn the dial. Right. And below that, mm -hmm. how many spaces are there for you to input these extra symbols? It's like, it's, it's not like, oh, I wish I could How many it total better. spaces are there? There's three. It's not like it's a space. It's just, it's like a... It's it's like when you turn a dial for I know for a I'm, lock. Tr I'm trying to ask how many letters make up the combination. How many spaces are there to There's make up three. the combination? There's only Wait. three, but so I can what turn this, what is this extra thing that you're talking about? I can turn the dial, right? I can I can hold my mouse button and turn uh, um this little screen thing for each space. So that each letter comes up and it slides up. <laughs> All right. So this alphabet for each of the three spaces is A through mm -hmm. Z. 
it's A through Z, but it also includes these three foreign letters. So the Greek alphabet. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was a Greek alphabet. I don't know the Greek alphabet. Well, I don't know. What are the what are the symbols of the Greek? I have no idea. I just know that there's three extra letters. So I'm assuming it's like a Morse code alphabet. Hold on. A and E. It's it's so like an wait, A. So it starts with A, B, and then there's like an upside down L. For it's Anna. it started it started with Z. When I first entered this room, all three spaces were filled in with the letter Z, right? All right. And if you and the next letter is and I scrolled and I scrolled through each space and no, it's what's the just, same. Just tell me what's below H or below Z. The next A E. A E. It's like a it's like an A merged with an E. Maybe it's not. Hold on. No, the Greek alphabet only has uh, 24 letters in it. Mm. Um, an A with an E. Mm. Kind of like the lark, the, the name that we were trying to um, trying to say in the beginning of the game. His name was Lark, but it, it looked like an A and an E merged together, so we didn't know how to pronounce it. We were like, or Lark. <laughs> right. Mm. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm thinking. I wonder if there's like Morse code alphabet. Well, well, there is. I already. I already, that's how I got the information for this. The L A M P. So, just out of curiosity, um, the phone messages that I'm looking, I'm looking through my phone messages. Let me just, let me just see if there's anything here. Okay. So my phone messages are locked in. Now they say, hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally blank. You, so many messages. Wait, I know you're still blank. Know that before I left, I made you something to keep blank earlier, but you never mind. Are you still blank? You named Cole. I made a new one for you. Is is the spaces below the bird a nameplate of some sort? Could it be a name of the bird? Uh, it could be. I don't know. It just... It doesn't look like an actual nameplate, but it could be. Well, try K-O-L. I'm, I'm just spitballing. I don't know. I, I, okay. <laughs> K O L. Watch it work. If it works, I'm gonna. It do it. works. Oh it my works. god. Oh my freaking <laughs> Wow. Uh, okay. All right. My head. All right. He's chirping. <laughs> where Where did you find that from? My phone messages. The telephone downstairs. You wouldn't. It wouldn't be on your screen. Remember, we were composing that message. Uh, the name of the bird is on one of my sentences. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, then. That's hilarious. Well, now that we've got that, um, <laughs> now what happened on your end? There's a bird chirping. That's all he's doing is chirping. And he's lighting, like, his lights are lighting up and stuff. Is there any sort of pattern to it? Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. So light, okay. I don't know what the starting position is, though. Okay, so light, light. No light, no light. Light, light. Light. No light. You said it was squawking, too. Yeah, oh, okay, so this is the pause right here. Okay. Oh, I key. Okay, so now he's not squawking. So I bet if I click on him, his eyes are going to light up, and that's probably the light bulbs outside, maybe? Because he did that for quite a while. Okay, Is so it, let me get, do let me the, get a pen and paper. 
Now, is you said here they're squawking, and they're, does, does, when when it squawks, is the light the eyes light up at the same so, time? Sometimes the eyes light up at the same times, and sometimes they don't. So it's like a no light and a light every time he squawks. So wait a minute, is the squaw is he squawking all the time, or is there? Like he's squawking all the time. Every single time his eyes light up, he squawks. And then he, if there's no eyes that light up, he'll squawk still. So it's... So I'm thinking then, so it's a pattern. It's either the eyes lit or it's not. So yeah. every time he squawks, you need to write down if he's got his eyes I'm... lit up or not. Yeah, okay, shh. Let me write it down. <laughs> Okay, so I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. 12, right. 12, so what's 12 the of pattern? these. There's no light, light, no light, wait, light, wait, light, wait, light. Wait, 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 slow down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. First one. No light. No light. Then next. Light. Next. No light. Next. Light. Next. Light. Next. Light. Next. No light. Next. No light. Next. Light. Anything else? Light. 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 One, and then two, two, three, no four, light. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So that's twelve. Okay. You got the last one, right? Which is no, no light. light. Okay. So how does that help us? <laughs> Um, there's 12 light bulbs in each screen, right? In front of the buildings? Yeah, but how does that help with that lamp puzzle? Does it matter? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it, though. Light, light, light. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you know what? I bet you... I bet you we have to light them up in the front of the... Oh, no, because then... No, because well, then there's light bulbs in each building. Hmm. Hold on a minute. How many? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what it is? It's what? not. It's not Morse code. It's telling us whether or not the things are lit up. Mm. My pattern, my Morse code pattern, has okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yours okay. has 12. Yep. There are 24 light bulbs around the entire thing. There's six in each quadrant. Six times four is 24. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the diagram I'm looking at, one half... Okay, okay. So... I'm guessing, I'm guessing your half with the bird is the eastern part of it. Okay. And, well, I just wish I knew, where does the house start? Well, all right, let's go back. Um, now that we've got this information, let's go back to the front gate. Okay. Where the, um... Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, got it. Okay, so the three on this screen. Okay, so what we need to do is on on the screen where you're in, you're on the, you're facing the front gate. Yes. Activate the second light. Okay. Scroll to the right. That's where okay. the house is. Mm -hmm. Light all the ones. To the left. To the left, mm -hmm. okay. And on the ones to your right of the house, only light the one on the far right. Okay. And then after that, scroll to the right. Mm-hmm. To the left of the horn symbol. Mm-hmm. Light, light. First two. Okay. All right. Now, that was yours. Okay. Now, mine 
let's go... No, does mine start? I'm guessing mine starts... Mine, I'm not sure about mine. So, um... Are you sure mine start? Oh, okay. Yeah, because on my diagram, the the bird starts uh, to the right of the 12 o'clock. So, I think that's right. Uh, now, mine is... Now, I'm guessing the the dashes mean lit? Wait a second. You said the bird starts to the right of 11 or 12? 12. So, it's... why... Look at the... Look... Go to the front gate. Yeah. You see how it looks like a clock? Yeah, but you told me to light up the top uh, middle, right? On the top left, the middle light bulb? No, the top right, middle light bulb. Top right, middle light bulb. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. Now all of the right, the right side of the gate yes. should now have some lit and some not okay. lit. Okay, right? yeah. Now we yeah. need to do the same thing for, for my you. pattern, but... Are you eating, really? No. I just... Uh, that was my stomach. Sorry. No, it was crunching. No, nice try. <laughs> um, okay. So, <laughs> it's... No, I wish I knew... Oh, 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 oh. So, it's not Morse code. Let me go back to the... Uh, let me go back to the telegraph. So, it wasn't Morse code. Maybe it's... I don't know why I was stuck on the Morse code for. Because <laughs> um, they were long and short. Mm-hmm. So maybe the the maybe the short ones were unlit and the long ones were lit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So assuming. if I go back to the horn building? Yeah, go back to the horn building and let's oops, wrong one. Okay. Let's just try it. Let's okay. light light the middle one on the right. Okay, the middle one on the right. Yes. Next Wait. green Middle one on the right? Yes. To the right of the horn building. Oh, oh, horn. Okay. I was still in the front gate. Okay. Middle one on the right. Got it. Mm hmm Then we want... Uh, to the raven's clock. Mm-hmm. Light the one on the... On the, the, the For the ones that are on the left of the raven's clock. Yep. The one on the yep. right. The one on the right. Okay. Got it. Now... Um, to the right of the Raven's Clock building, light the mm -hmm. first two. First two, got it. And then for to the right where the main gate is again, mm -hmm. light the first two. It ah, worked. it works. Right. Good job. That's how we do it. <laughs> All right. Um, Mr. Cole. <laughs> yeah, that Cole was so stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a ladder, but I can't reach it. I clicked on the ladder and ooh. Oh, oh yeah it did. Okay. Okay. My Lark's. last memory of Lark was the suspicious frown on her face. All those That's years in Switzerland made it possible for me to finally finish the clockwork. Alright, so I'm going up. Mm-hmm. Uh I double checked Lark's clock. It ran exactly as it should. At first she didn't want the clock. She said she was tired of my presence. I didn't- it didn't occur to me that a crack in the clock face would make a difference. I held it out to her anyways because I needed her to be with me. <laughs> what in the world? And now we've got some jars. Yep. I never told her that the time was stolen, only that the clock would let us be together forever. I had spent years collecting time for us, time that would be added to our lives. You know, I'm gonna write down these numbers on this jar. Um, yeah. Uh, you have numbers too? I do. Are they the same as mine? Mine's 1011? Are yours 1308? Different? 1308 and 1111? Yeah, and 180? No, mine's different. Which one's yours? Mine is 1011. Yeah. 1308. Yeah, that's one, what I got. 1111. Yeah, you don't have a fourth jar? Oh. Uh, oh yeah, it's 180. I see it. Yeah, okay. Mine are all lit up. Oh, are yours? Mine are all empty. Oh, okay. Mine are all, like, blinking blue lights, like fireflies. Hmm. 
Oh, wow, a lot of jars on the next screen. Holy cow. Yeah. Are they all lit up for you, too? Yeah, they are. All right, we'll come back. If I have to write... I don't want to write down all these numbers. I'll come back. Okay. Instead, she disappeared into the clock. I still haven't found her. Um, I was writing mine down. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, she closed her hand around the clock, and I never saw her again. Ooh, sad. Scrolling up. Okay. There's a jar on a table. I opened the bottle, the empty bottle, and there's a light that went into it. 117. Yeah, I, I opened an empty bottle as well. 1110. It says, oh, 1110. This is 110. 110. Mine says 117. Okay. I didn't have to build a way out. I hope you and your friend appreciate it. It says, you beat the game. Such a shame to see all that time go to waste. Oh, that was telling me how long it took to complete this game. You have lost 117 minutes of your life. <laughs> so just under two hours. Uh, I, did, I, you... played, I played for seven minutes longer because I was setting up the stream. That makes sense. I see. I lost 110 hours <laughs> or Good minutes. Job. So we beat that was the game. it. That's it. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go, folks. Full playthrough. I wasn't expecting it over that quickly, but that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, really. So what did you think? Only, only three chapters. I'm kind of sad. You wanted more? I really wanted more. That was kind of lackluster, honestly. You think so? I have to wonder if it's the same. Well, it is. For If I be two player, if I'm the second player, I'm just going to face your puzzles and you're going to face my puzzles. Yeah. But it's still uh, going to be the same answers all around. It was it was fun. I just wish it was so much longer. It is. It was rather short. For a two-hour game, then again, the game, I think, is only $6 on Steam. So, like, two people would mm. buy it. So, like, if you think about it, $12 roughly for a two-hour experience. Maybe faster or longer, depending on how how good you are, how bad you are at puzzles. Mm. Um, it's not bad. Because, you know, you can go to the matinee or a movie theater and spend 20 bucks easy on a movie. Yeah. So, like, it's, I'm fine with the price. It's it's only six bucks a person. Not, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty good, honestly. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Hmm. But it's a shame that, like you said, there isn't more. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing more of this. Yeah. I, I hope, like, a sequel comes out or something. That would be cool. Yeah, I wish, like, I hope it would be a lot longer, though. <laughs> yeah maybe so mm -hmm. all right well there you go uh if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on twitch and youtube that way you can stay up to date with any new content i've been to publish this is vincent idly thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time bye guys